Hello everybody, Max with A1 Website Pro here and today we're going to be talking all about Google Ads and they have a, a, um, a platform here called AdWords. It's also known as Google AdWords. So either you could call this number and have Google help you or you can walk through this video and I'll help you get started. Of course you know ads are placed at the top right here and on the sides of the, the Google search results whenever you uh, search for different keywords. So I'm just going to go ahead and sign in. If you haven't signed in, you'll just walk, walk through a process here. And uh, it's pretty easy to sign up. Just pretty much fill in the blanks. What we're going to do is we're going to create a campaign. We're going to create our first campaign here. So in this account, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to call this the, uh, we'll call it the A1 app campaign because I want to promote one of my apps that I have on a web page. So that's what we're going to do. <clears throat> um, here we want the search uh, network with display select. We could also select the search network only so we just show up on the search networks. Uh, display networks is Google partners like other websites that display Google ads. And then also shopping. Uh, you, if you have uh, Google Shopping, uh, if you want to know what that is, if we go to, uh, uh, if we type in like red shoes, like that into the Google search engine, we can see that over here on the right we have all kind of sponsored links uh, for Google Shopping. So that's what this particular uh, thing will do for you here. Okay, but what we're going to do, I think I'm just going to hit search network only. So I want to continue, and once again, I'm going to rename this A1 app, my A1 app campaign. I want this to be uh, uh, standard uh, keyword targeted text ads. Um, if we use all features, we could use uh, all the features of options available from the search network. If you're ever wondering what, what these things are about, just hover over this. It'll tell you what it includes and why to choose it. So you would choose this if you'd like to advertise on Google Search and the network search partners and would like to access options available. This is a good, this would be a good campaign. But we're just going to do standard. Product listing ads, of course, Google Merchant Center, like we talked about, and that's the Google Shopping, Google Merchant Center. It's all the same thing right inside there. Okay, so uh, maybe I will, nah, you know what, I'm not going to do that. So for our first ad, I'm, I just want a, a, a regular standard network ad, okay? So we're not really worried about uh, getting product placement right now, okay? Here we can target our devices, uh, as will show on all available devices. Uh, we can have all countries and territories or, or concentrate on the United States and Canada or just the United States. I'm going to just choose the United States. Uh, you could even get uh, even more specific. Maybe I wanted to choose, uh, you know, Youngstown, Ohio or the, or the area. And so here's Youngstown, Ohio. I could say nearby and then it'll bring up an ad right here. You'll notice it, it, it added Youngstown, Ohio, but then I could go down here and uh, you know add everything that, that's nearby. Mahoning County, um, scroll, scroll down, Trumbull County maybe, Boardman, Ohio of course, because that's where my office is, uh, Austin Town, you know, you'll notice that all of these are also in Mahoning County as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna click Done. You'll notice this is uh, also, with the, uh, the Google Keyword Planner, you'll get the same type of uh, choices there. I'm going to target the English language. Um, you know, there's uh, several languages that you can target, and, but of course I speak English, so I'm going to target the English one. Uh, you can manually set uh, your uh, bid for clicks or have AdWords will set your bids to help maximize. So they know what everybody else is bidding on and uh, we could set a budget here. Maybe we'll set a budget of $20 today to start out. Uh, we don't want to set it too high here for the very first campaign because we want to see what's effective, what's not effective, and then, uh, then raise it as we get more effective, more targeted keyword phrases. So you don't want to set this too high at first. We want to see what's effective and uh, you don't want to waste all your money until you know what you're doing, okay? So <clears throat> we're going to scroll on down here. We can have these different ad extensions like maybe uh, location. You can extend your ads with location information and I like that. Um, uh, your account doesn't have any location so I can add one now. Done. Okay. So 
So we'll let that go and then we'll click save and continue. All right, so, so now I've created my first campaign. Now within the campaign, this is where I can put you know different ad groups. And we'll, we could call this ad group one or whatever. But in the ad group, that's where we're going to create the ad. And maybe I'm going to put A1 app. I'm just going to make something real quick here. Uh, an app to help estimate. Hold on, let's see. Help estimate website expenses. Something like that. Now you'll notice um, you can only put certain things in there. So uh, a certain number of characters, 35 in each line. Uh, this is really cool. Okay, so you want to brainstorm, get something really good there. And then uh, the display URL, I'm just going to put HTTP S colon A1 website pro.com. And of course, uh, I want to take them to the specific page. Okay, so I'll, uh, you don't want to take people to your home page unless you have something uh, specifically for sale on that home page. But I want to take them to the page that talks about the app. Okay, so I had a blog post about that. So I'm going to go down here and grab the web development app estimator, the entire link, and that's what I'm going to put down here for the destination URL, okay? Now I gotta make sure that uh, I take out the first part here, the HTTP, because I wanna use HTTPS. So I'm gonna take this off, and that's a secure. And now you can see the ad over here, how it's gonna look like on the side and the top ad. Okay, so <clears throat> now down here is where we can select our keywords. Okay, and now keywords are very important. And uh, we have a lot of keyword phrases that Google is recommending right here. Okay, now I'm just going to click add all from this category. You probably don't want to do that, but for the sake of time, now you could go down through here and go into your Google Keyword Planner and search all these and try to estimate your traffic. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and click save and continue to billing. And uh, I can enter my billing information, or if you have a coupon co card like I do, whatever, you can set that in there. But now here we go. Uh, you can see here's all my all my online campaigns over here. I have the A1 app, twenty dollars a day, you know. And if I ever wanted to go in here and see what was going on inside that app, I just click it, and then I could visit my keywords. If I had any ad extensions or dimensions in there, uh, you know, I I could go in there but I'm ready to rock and roll with my first ad okay and that's where I wanted to get you guys to where you know where you where you can set up an ad and just get it rolling as quickly as possible okay I'm gonna be talking about ad extensions maybe getting indexed in Google Shopping in a later tutorial but I just wanted to get this rock and rolling for you here so you know how to add keywords uh, one of the one one of the things that I do want to uh, highlight is you it's a good thing to have negative keywords because there's some things that you don't want to show up for. Maybe I don't want to show up for something like website suck or, or something like that. So we want, we want to make sure that we have a negative keyword strategy. And Okay, so the keywords are down if you scroll down here. Negative keywords. So this is where you open them up and, uh, you know, all right, add keywords. Websites suck. All right, so maybe you want something like that. Websites suck. All right, so we don't need it. We don't want to show up for anything like that. Right. So and then you can continue to add. But the best thing to do is let this run, and you know if you're showing up for keyword phrases, uh, you know whenever you go to your stats, you start looking at the things that you're showing up for, um, and maybe web development, uh, web app development. Um, in Bangladesh, you know, maybe you don't want something like that. Maybe you're getting a lot of displays. Maybe you want to add that as a negative keyword. So, what you do is you let this run for a few days, and then come back and add your negative keywords, and Google will help you do that. Um, let's see. That's basically it for this first section of creating an ad campaign. 
the next one I want to get into is creating a good uh, looking right here. This is just kind of really generic, uh, but this is very important what you put in here. So I'm going to discuss that next in the next video tutorial. Right now, I just wanted to get you in there, get you set up, show you how to do it real quick. Uh, you know, if you want to figure this stuff out on your own, good luck. Uh, if not, uh, you know, I'll be putting up a, another uh, video tutorial here shortly.